Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be cooking another noodle dish to add to my Vietnamese noodle playlist. I've been cooking many noodle dishes before using rice noodles like bún or pho. You can click here to watch them all. The noodle dish that I'm cooking today is quite similar to pho gà or chicken noodle soup, but we're not using rice noodles, um, but we're gonna use glass noodles or mien. And the dish is called mien gà. Compared to pho bò or pho gà, this mien gà is very easy to prepare. So let's give it a try. Helen's recipes. To prepare the chicken, rub the outside with some salt to remove the bad poultry smell. Today I bought a 1.3 kg of fresh free-range chicken, so it should be very tasty. Rinse under running water to remove the salt. Also let the water run through the inside. Into its cavity, we're gonna add 2 slices of ginger and 1 spring onion. This will enhance the flavor of the meat as it cooks. Then add the chicken into a large pot filled with enough water to cover. Add a tablespoon of salt and one pinch onion. Bring the water to a boil, then skim off the foam if any, then cover the lid and lower the heat. Next, we're gonna grill the onion, ginger slices, shallots, and coriander roots. Place a grilling pan on the stove top, then grill the pups and roots until they are slightly charred on the outside. Your kitchen will be then filled with a very pleasant aroma. You can also grill these items in a toaster or in the oven under the broiler. Just rotate them until the outside is slightly charred. Then insert them all into a tea filter or wrap in a piece of cheesecloth. Then tie it up and throw into the soup pot. If you cook for often, it will be quite convenient and practical if you have a glove bag like this. Then season the broth to your taste with salt, sugar and chicken stock. When the chicken is cooked through, after 15 minutes or an hour depending on what kind of chicken that you have, remove it from the soup, let cool and shred the meat into thin strips. If you buy fresh chicken, it normally comes with a set of internal organs. These parts are very flavorful, so don't throw them away. Slide into smaller pieces and season with salt, pepper, a little bit of fish sauce and maybe some minced shallots. Heat some oil in a pan, fry 3 thinly sliced shallots until golden brown. Keep the heat on medium and immediately remove the shallot slices from the oil when they just turn quite golden. We're gonna add that to the soup bowl later. Then add the chicken internal organs into the oil and stir fry until cooked. Chop up the Vietnamese mint or raw rum. It's the best herbs to go with this soup, but you can also use chopped spring onion or cilantro. Roll up a few lime leaves or kaffir lime leaves and cut into fine strips. Slightly season the shredded chicken with some salt and pepper and the lime leaf threads. The lime leaf threads gonna bring your chicken meat into a whole new level. Soak the glass noodle in warm water for about 10 minutes to soften, then remove and place into a serving bowl. Place the seasoned shredded chicken on top of the noodles. Top it up with the chopped Vietnamese mint, raw rum, and some of the fragrant fried shallots. Adding the homemade fried shallots not only add more fragrance to the soup, but also enhances the flavor a lot, so I really recommend you to do that. Finally, ladle the hot soup over the noodles, add some of the stir fried chicken organs if you like. In my opinion, these internal organs make the soup a lot more tasty, but you can leave them out if you don't like, of course. That's it, we are done. Now, let me give it a try. Mmm, very good. If you like this video, don't forget to click like. That helps a lot. 
If you decide to give this recipe a try, don't forget to take a photo of your food and upload on Instagram, Facebook or Google Plus with hashtag Helen Recipes. You're gonna see your food features in my next videos very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Compared to phở gà or miếng gà, and compared to phở bò or miếng bò, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> compared to phở bò or phở gà, miếng gà is also very simple to prepare. So let's give it a try. <laughs>